So this is vlog number five, week six. Uh, we can first talk about Robert Kiwi and Mahali. Uh, television addiction is no mere metaphor. And through their essay, it basically talks about how addictive TV really is. Uh, they use a lot of quotes and um, uh, well-known colleges and notable researchers within their essay. Uh, one part says that um, even researchers who study TV for a living marvel at the medium hold on them personally. It basically just says how the people who study from television are surprised at how addictive they are to television themselves. Um, they use a lot of examples like uh, UC Berkeley, Indiana University, and uh, Scientific American, and also using notable uh, researchers like uh, Leonard Burkowski, Percy Tenenbaum, and Annie Lang. Uh, and then we can go on to Roxanne Gay, uh, girls, girls, girls. Uh, her essay is basically just about how how television uh, portrays a female. Um, in the beginning of her story, she talks about uh, a television story, basically how it's a lost girl trying to figure out her way. She's not in college. She's uh, struggling to get a job, nearly homeless. Um, and she's basically saying how that one show portrays the opposite of what we kind of expect as uh, a woman being feminine and presentable. And uh, she also, she basically just um, goes off of um, past shows that she has watched, like uh, Bridesmaid. Uh, and she quotes um, things like uh, the baby daddy drops bubbles off and they practically fuck in the front seat. Um, so within her essay, it's just showing how, how different that one show is. Uh, we also have uh, Paul Cantor's The Apocaly Apocalyptic Strain in Popular Culture. The American Nightmare Becomes the American Dream. And he is talking about um, apocalyptic shows like The Walking Dead and comparing it to reality. He's saying how uh, those, those fictional shows are a little more true than what we really think just because of how we live our daily lives stuck on uh, television and uh, media. And uh, one quote is, American popular culture is overflowing with doomsday prophecies and the end of world scenarios. Uh, we are dealing with a wide variety of fantasies here, mainly in the horror of science and fiction genres. Um, and then we have Ken Aletta, Netflix and the Future of Television. Um, he basically recites the story of Netflix's life and how it became what it is now. Um, his essay basically says that it will uh, kill every other streaming service and television overall. And I agree with that because my uncle always speaks about it. Because he works for a company called Voodoo, and uh, basically Netflix is putting every other streaming service out of business. Uh, one quote is, uh, movies would be rented even more cheaply and conveniently by streaming over the internet, and popular films will, would always be in stock. Netflix subs subscriptions jumped from 7.5 million to 12 million. And... Uh, every, all four of these essays basically talks on television. Uh, each author pretty much uh, talking about something else. Uh, Aletta talking about streaming service. Cantor talking about the reality of 
uh, American nightmares being more true than it really is. Uh, gay talking about uh, girlhood within shows. And QB talking about how uh, television is addictive.